right guys so we are on our way home but before we get home we're gonna stop somewhere um, we've never shared this with anybody until now they're gonna say well, why are you sharing it now you know what we're sharing with you guys uh, we've been doing this since day one of the COVID and it first started all the way up till now uh, anyways when we get there I'll show you what I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about. What's up, guys? It is Monday morning. It's a cloudy Monday morning here in, in Hulu City. I am with Rutland. We are in our trike. We are heading up to the store. It's been a while since I've been in the trike. Uh, so I say, you know, let's just eh, hop in a trike and take a ride up to the store. What do you got to say, Lutland? take a little stroll down the road here um, the other day in my video I was talking about a store a couple stores that had opened up around our area here that now are selling meats vegetables rice other things like that and this is what always happens here you start a morning you start a, a little small business people see you doing well well guess what they went in on the action also what happens is there's so many stores and nobody's making any money. Uh, so I'm going to walk down here to this new store that just opened. What happened is the uh, this store opened and they were selling chicken at 120 per kilo. We sell ours at 140 per kilo, which is pretty cheap. But what these people did they bought, from what I'm told, is they bought the whole chicken. Feathers and all. The only thing missing was the cluck. They defeathered it, everything like that, and they were selling it at 120 per kilo, but you had to buy the whole chicken. So that was the catch. Yeah, little signs out and everything like that. Um, now, a couple weeks have gone by. The prices of the chicken have gone up. We know the store is right here on the left. I'm just gonna walk by it, kind of eye it up, see what they're selling. Uh, it's right here on the corner. Hello. Here's what they're selling here. She waves so. out. A nice little setup. Uh oh. A nice little setup pork chicken fish rice vegetables huh you're gonna subscribe okay rice a little bit of everything in here yeah hello selling gas eggs coffee vinegar How's business? How's business? Good? Yes. Good? Good. Uh, she was friendly enough. Um, well, you see what she has. Uh, here's the thing. Here comes the pineapple guy. Fresh pineapple. And watermelon. Oh, it's a woman. Hello. Uh, here's, what, here's what happens. You see all the meats and everything sitting there. If that don't sell, now what? Now you're stuck with it. Now granted, some of the stuff, I didn't look and see, you can put in a freezer. You can put in a freezer. Man, I gotta walk, but I can't walk fast. 
uh, you can freeze some of the things. Other things you can't. So now you could be stuck with those items. Now what are you gonna do? Uh, but their prices, they're, they're coming up. Uh, you can't, it's a learning curve. I mean, they're gonna, it's a learning curve. A lot of times what happens is you have people Here's another one. This bakery is also fairly new. Hello. They're new. Bon, bon J Bakery. Hello. Uh, there's a bakery right up here to the left. Right right near our store. Um, another new one. Hello. Another little store. Selling rice, eggs. These are all new. These have all popped up within the past month. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the get rich, get rich thing. At the end of the month, here's how I've always said it. We've always said this. At the end of the month, if we break even, rent's paid, electric's paid, water's paid, everything's paid, okay, fine. Okay, that's just the way it is. Uh, that's how we've always looked at it. Hello, there's another one going in. We don't, I don't know what this is yet. <laughs> Traffic enforcers, doing their job. <laughs> Those guys are good dudes. They're always here at the uh, intersection here. We've gotten to know them real well. Um, at the end of the month, like I said, if we break even, great. Make a little money, great. Uh, but I don't know what these people are relying on, if they're relying on the fact that, okay, I want to make money. And at the end of the month, if they realize, hello, that, they haven't made money. What are they going to do? Raise the price? Drop the price? We'll see. Time will tell. All right, guys. I'm at the store. Uh, let me show you here. Look, look knows what she's doing. When I talk about, like, making sure you don't have plenty of leftovers and things like that. 10 o'clock. We'll get a few more sales. But as you can see, she buys enough now. She knows what to buy. She knows what's selling to where this is just what's left over for the day. Some fish, chicken intestines, chicken feet, a little bit of pork, some squid. But you can see, we're, we've, we pretty much have sold out on the meat that Wood has bought for the day. Now vegetables and fruits, or no, we don't sell fruits occasionally. Uh, vegetables, they'll stay longer. They'll stay longer than your meats. So the, the vegetables are okay. Like your potatoes stay forever. Garlic, your onion. You know, you gotta watch your carrots. They go through and they, you know, get rid of the ones that are bad. Uh, ginger, eggplant. But even, even, if you guys can remember, like our store used to be, the shelves used to be full. And when the lockdown happened, we sold a lot, we sold a lot because we were the only, like we were, we were open and the people couldn't get to your big stores to buy things, so they were buying here. Now that you can get to the stores now and buy, things have slowed down on the sales of that. Uh, still have the noodles, uh, of course, canned goods, laundry soaps, laundry detergents. We still sell the eggs but more and more people can get to the store. So that's why things here are, uh, are, are, are empty, right? But yeah, but you take the good and the bad and the ugly, I guess. You know, there's our freezer, refrigerator. The shelves used to be full. Um, we're just selling things that we know people now will buy here. All right, guys, so we are on our way home, but before we get home, we're gonna stop somewhere um, we've never shared this with anybody until now they're gonna say well, why are you sharing it now and you know what we're sharing with you guys uh, we've been doing this since day one of the COVID when it first started all the way up till now uh, anyways when we get there I'll show you what I'll show you uh, what I'm talking about 
All right, guys, so here's what we've been doing, like I said, since day one of the lockdown <laughs> until now. Um, we always, when we have food that's left over at the store and we know it's not gonna sell, uh, we've been coming up here every day uh, to this area, Mama. in our area here. Mama and uh, we give the food to these people. Um, it comes out of our pocket. Um, you know what, I get tired of people saying, oh, you walk by all these people and you don't give them food and you don't, you know, you don't help the homeless. And how do you know what I do and what I don't do off of camera? Um, but Lud always puts a little bag together, some fruits, or not fruits, vegetables, chicken, just whatever, even shrimp, some garlic, just little things like that to help these people out. Um, they're sitting here. This is actually part of the barangay. The barangay, um, this is their property. These people went to the barangay and asked if they could squat here. And uh, the barangay told them okay. But if the barangay leases his property out, these people need to move. Uh, but this was a crazy mess before. Um, used to flood like crazy. They managed to... Uh, get it up ground level and stuff like that but they have a couple kids a couple dogs um, what do these people do I notice they go around they collect recyclables they do things like that so they are making a little bit of money um, but yeah that's that's what we do um, like I said I, I you, you got people out there okay. channels that, that uh, you know I see them helping people and good for them I see other channels out there that Ask their subscribers to help feed people, and that's okay, I guess. Um, but you know, it impressed me. Make it come out of your own pocket. Uh, but this is one. There's another one up the road. We'll get up there, and uh, I'll show you them too. They're, they're, I think they're a little shy to come out right now, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello. morning. Good morning, Pao. Okay, thank you about You're this welcome. one. Oh, hold the this. Dogs don't bite. Okay. Thank you. How many kids? Three. Three children? Yeah. Three children? Yeah. How many dogs? Uh, four. Four dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dogs outnumber the kids. Yeah. Any roosters? Yeah. You have roosters? All right, rooster. Everybody's got a rooster. <laughs> hey, kids. Hey, kids. Como esta? Como esta? <laughs> All right, guys, so here's the other people that we help out here. Hello. Um, they're just right up the road here. Uh, they're, they're related to the people down the road. Yeah. Um, but they're up here also. I think that's her. That's who? Is she coming up? Yeah, no. She's on the way to her mother. Oh, she's on the way to her mother. Is she coming back? Yeah, the woman that we get back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess she's on her way down to her mother's. So the daughter lives up here. Yeah, that's what Yeah, the daughter lives up here. This is another area that it's uh, government or the Barangay owns this, right? Uh, yeah. From yeah. Others. From our understanding, the Barangay owns this property here also. Maybe we should go back. Uh, yeah, we'll just head back. We'll head back. We'll head back and uh, give her the food. So. All right, let's head back. All right, guys. So here's 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 the situation these people are in. Evidently, they lived in an area that was really bad before snatchers and robbery and all that. And then they moved up to this area. It's a man, his wife, and his son and daughter up here, and a couple of the kids. Uh, the son goes around and does the recycling. He collects recyclables and things like that. The father goes around and has like a knife sharpening or uh, sits on a little bicycle or whatever, and a wheel turns and he sharpens knives. That's how they make their living. Now, they don't make a ton of money. They just don't make a ton of money. Um, the mother was saying that the son, what, whatever money he does make, he ships back to the province uh, because his wife is back there. And, um, but they're just living up here. That's how they live. 
Um, and like I said, people are going to say, well, why did you show it now? Well, people are always saying, you don't do anything. You don't give back. You walk around. You walk by the homeless. You walk by the people that want money and things. you got to pick and choose who you want to help. You can't help everybody. You just can't. There are certain people here that every time I see them, I give them some money. I know they're going to go get something to eat. I just never throw it on camera. Um, never was a person like that. Uh, but anyways, that's what we do. That's what Lit does. Uh, with the food that we know, okay, it's not going to sell by the end of the day. Uh, the vegetables, she picks through that, picks out, you know, just different fruits and different things. Makes a little, little bag of food for the people. Like I said, it comes out of our pocket. Uh, we're not out asking people for money and donations to help the people here, the poor. Um, but anyways, with that being said, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, quick sad story, the one dog across the street that Hannah Grace used to feed has since expired. I don't know what happened. Uh, I can only imagine. Uh, I can put two and two together, but anyways, with that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other, take care of the sick, the elderly, and the young. If you have pets, take care of your pets. Don't abuse your pets, and we'll talk to you later.